since we've been working closely with Adiseo uh, on amino acid balancing and we're seeing good result in the field with our clients. Peggy Coffin here from Up Level Dairy, and I'm at the Adiseo VIP meeting. And with me is Frank Gowden from Big Gain. And Frank, tell us a little bit about what you've taken away from two and a half days of di diving deep into Adiseo. Well, I, I, I think this two day, these two days of meeting have reinforced something we already know uh, since we've been working closely with Adiseo. Uh, on amino acid balancing and we're seeing good result in the field with our clients. So it just confirm and put some actual uh, actual numbers on on all of our trials and what they're seeing in the field. Ah, so tell me more about what you are doing for trials in the field. Well, I, I don't know that we're doing trials in the fields, but we're just implementing some of what we've learned with Adiseo, uh, and as I said, we've implemented that for the last eight years, and the the result we're seeing val is uh, validates what they've been telling us is typically more production components have increased on those farms, uh, not only protein but fat, and we we just validate that uh, the last two days. Uh, Repro has been a been a benefit. Uh, one statement I heard, uh, not necessarily at this conference, but uh, uh, two weeks ago, is herds implementing methionine have higher milk protein mm -hmm. content. And if you're above 3.3, three, 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 four milk protein, it appears that overall cow health is also improved, which we would validate that. At a sale, a global leader in nutritional solutions and the provider of Smartamine M, the best in class rumen protected meth ionine product for dairy producers who want to optimize milk production, capture more value from their components, and maintain their lifetime performance of their herds. For more product information and to calculate your return on investment when you balance your feed with amino acids, go to milkpay.com. Yeah, so you are seeing actively the improvements in components, cow health, and repro. And um, it, from what you were able to take in from some of the researchers, whether they were through Adiseo or through university in the last couple of days, what are a couple of your big takeaways? What are a couple of things that have you thinking as you leave this meeting? Well, my, my, my big takeaway is uh, the methionine is important in every phases of production uh, and it's it's and it when we think of phases of production we think about uh, dry cow close up fresh cows but not only there it starts at uh, uh, conception we we saw that it has influ influence on embryo quality embryo retention we they talked about epigenetics so it's it's actually broader than we initially thought. The influence is broader. Yeah. So uh, so when you think about the customers that that you serve through Big Gain, the dairy producers that you work with, and the cows that are impacted by uh, what gets added to the rations that you work in, um, what what do you foresee as the greatest potential that's yet to be captured from an even greater acceptance and harnessing of the power of amino acid balancing? I think for me, the the greatest potential that we see is by continuing to increase amino acid density per pound or per kilo, we're influencing uh, uh, feed efficiency and uh, diluting maintenance costs. So I think it's one way for us to, or for our producer to stay competitive. Mm. Better feed efficiency equal better income or feed costs. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's the name of the game with our dairy producers, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Being able to stay in it long-term. Excellent. And so, uh, and so Frank, to kind of wrap things up here, uh, as you go home and get back out into the field, managing your teams of people and managing your customers that you work with, uh, 
what uh, what gets you excited to go back to being on farm and being working with those producers today? I think what's what's the most exciting for me and my producer is that uh, we don't know where the limit is as far as production and feed efficiency. How high can we get? And and to to them and myself, that's that's exciting to try to reach the next level. Yeah, and feed efficiency is something that you pay a lot of attention to. Yes. Yeah, and so how do you foresee amino acid balancing being a piece of that puzzle for you? Well, it's already a piece, and it's going to continue to be an important piece as we concentrate diets uh, moving forward. Excellent. All right, well, thank you so much. Any other final thoughts you'd like to share? No. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Frank, from Big Game.